Hello everyone and welcome back to Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. In the last session we have just come from the top of the Tower of Silence where we fought Darius, King of Kings, and retrieved the key to his palace. And we are ready to rumble, I think. We are right there at the end of the game. It did cross my mind that we could teleport back to the start uh, and go to the blacksmith and upgrade our bow. Uh, but there is no teleport point near here. I wish they'd put one like just right next to the door here or something. But I'd have to either go all the way back over here or all the way over here or something. And it, it would just be for the arrow upgrade. So I'm not sure it'd be really worth it. So I'm not going to do that. Hello. I do admire you, Sargon. You don't need Artaban or Nade's help to get here. So the summit of Mount Karth is where it will all play out. Considering what Varum is after, he should be in the Hall of Divination by now. I must stop him before he absorbs the heart of the Simorg. And that power in the wrong hands could destroy Persia. The Simorg's feathers. I have some of them. I know they don't belong to someone like me. Bloodline is not everything. It's your actions that matter. And look how Varum changed. You must defeat him, Sargon. I'll try to save him first. What happened to the one of the immortals that was like in a full suit of armor? I, I remember there was an immortal that was like entirely armored up. And we never fought them. And we never killed them or saw them die or anything. They just kind of vanished from the story. Hmm. It may be the last time we meet. Sargon, bravery is what makes you immortal. The fate of Persia depends on you. Well, no pressure then, hey? Nate, Artaban. I we know, sir. We know. Yeah, they know. Oh, right, we had to talk to them. Father and son complete the crossroads of time. Oh, boy. Well, here goes nothing. Royal Corridors. Oh boy. Ladies and gents. I think this is it. I think this is the end of the game. We have five potions to our name. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 proper bars of health and a 14th little extra one. Oh. How about no? How about we just run past you? Really? not? Am I not allowed to just go and fight the boss? Wait. Is there no is there no way out of this room? I guess I had to beat them to get out of the room. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Am I going to have to do this every time? No, there's going to be a... There's going to... No, what, no. when you get to a boss fight, you don't have to... You can just retry it from the thing. I was just thinking, like, wait, do I have to get through here every time? I thought this was just going to be a smooth sail up to the final boss, but, uh... No, it appears we will be fighting for our lives out here. I really don't want to fight these things. Let's just skip what we can. Definitely most important to get rid of those fuckers. go again. Anything over this side? Nope.
More birds or nah? Okay, this is a long old staircase. This is a long old staircase. You're telling me that the tree isn't right here? Is this not the perfect location for the tree? In in this gorgeous room. Very opulent decorations. Oh. Well, that's kind of them. I wasn't expecting another fast travel point. Well, in that case, let's go and buy the arrows. In that case, let's go and buy the arrows. Cool, good thing. I really wasn't expecting a fast travel point up here. Good thing that I, uh... that I didn't go and run all the way to another one. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been unfortunate. Okay, let's just double check nothing new has come from the merchant, but I'm pretty sure... Welcome. Pretty sure... No, nothing new. Okay. So, is there a plus five for you? Or am I getting the thing? Welcome. As survey says, there is never a plus five. Okay, so bow of Menelias plus two. Lovely. Is there going to be a plus three I can also get? Yes. Yes, there is. Cool. Takes all three of my remaining ones, but we are at the end of the game, so that's fine. Seeing as there is no sword upgrade. I guess the sword upgrades end at four then. Which is weird. You'd think they'd do five just to make it a nice number. <laughs> Oh, wow. There is a bow plus four as well, though. Okay. I wasn't expecting that for some reason. Where the fuck do you get another four of those from? No idea. No idea. All right. Um, well, we also can spunk a bunch of money on these then, right? Uh, what ones do we want? Actually, let's... Oh, you have to be a tree to change them, don't you? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Why? Why make me do that? Let's just see what I've got then. Increase the power of sword attacks. Right, we want to get that leveled for sure. Damage taken into Athra could be good to level... Uh... Okay, I think the most important ones are damage taken into Athra and standard sword attacks. Ah. Welcome. So, moderately increase the power of standard sword attacks, yes. And then, can I do another one? I can, and it costs a coin this time. Greatly increase the power of standard sword attacks. So this is kind of like another sword upgrade by doing these. This is kind of like another sword upgrade. Is there another one? No, it only goes up to plus two. Okay. Um, right. Doopy doo. Not using that one. I don't think we're using that one, are we? That could be good, actually. Hmm. Moderately increase that. Convert a moderate amount of damage taken into Athra Buildup. Let's definitely upgrade that. And then upgrade it again. Because I get the feeling we're going to take a lot of fucking damage. <laughs> you know? Okay, okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. So, now what? Now what? We have more to spend. How the fuck can you... Uh, like, this, we've got so many crystals, and we've already, like, almost run out. <laughs> like, a couple more upgrades, and we're going to be basically dry on crystals. It's like, how the fuck can you... Ooh, is that worth it? See, the thing was, with Darius, he moved before I could even get a fourth hit off, so I'm not sure if this is even going to be... Worth it, necessarily. Is there anything else that I'd like better? A bigger time bubble? It's probably not going to happen. Uh, okay, let's do the fifth attack. I don't know if it's going to be useful, but... It might be impossible to land hits. He 
It might just fly away or whatever, but... We'll try it. We'll try it. Uh, yep. Another 600. A sixth attack. That's crazy. Um... Right, is there anything else I want? Is there anything else I want? Hmm. There's nothing I want here, right? I mean, we could just do this. I'm keeping on using it, so why not? And again. Lovely jubbly. Okay, we have enough for like one more upgrade. But I think I've upgraded... Have I upgraded everything I'm using apart from the time bubble one? Increase all melee attack damage in the air. You know what? I was actually doing a lot of melee attacking in the air, wasn't I? In the Darius fight. Because I'd fall onto his head and then I'd start slicing at him before I hit the ground quite often. Hmm. I'm going to inc increase that one and then maybe we'll put it on. See if there's anything I want to take off for it. Do I have enough to get the next one? Oh, you know what? I do. Sure. Let's do that then. Boom. There we go. We are out of crystals. Thank you for your service. Well, we have three health bars now. Very nice. Oops. Okay, that took a little longer than expected. Just a smidge. Uh, right, do we want to put on the air damage one? We'd have to take off a two for it. Do we want to take off a two for it? Not that one. Not that one. Increase Athra build-up for each successful parry. I feel like we're not going to be parrying much. We didn't parry fucking at all in the Darius fight. We can put it back on if we do end up parrying, but... In greatly increase all melee attack damage in the air. Let's do that. Maybe we can remember to, like, grapple to him and shit. Alright. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the final boss of the game. Okay, hang on. Is there anything past here? Okay, there is a door. I wonder if that'll open at the end, or whether that's just a visual thing. My father gave you the key to the palace, didn't he? Then... You can enter the hall of divination. Oh wait, what is that beam doing? I couldn't... I, when the camera wasn't angled like this, you couldn't see what the beam was actually doing. But it's like ripping a hole in the sky? Ready what is this, Avengers? To face me, but older me, has lost control. You've seen your older self. I just know he's there. And I don't want to be like him. Sargon. Based. You're still my friend, are you? There has to be a Did way he say, to are you? Him. The subtitle will say, aren't you? But I'm pretty sure he just said, are you? I'll find a way. I didn't give up on you. And I won't give up on him. Well, here we go. There will be no turning back. Are you ready? Yes. Let the challenge begin. Yeah. 
I've lost too much to trust the Samorg again. I can't believe in such a cruel god anymore. The heart of the Simorg. With our powers combined as one, imagine all the good we could do for humankind. Yeah, I don't really trust you Thorin, as a leader. No human is meant to wield such power. I am no mere mortal. I am the first immortal. Sargon, you must understand. The Samorg's powers showed me the future. I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. Our people suffering for nothing. Persia vanishing. Corrupted from within. We can stop it, Sargon. We can build a world free of deceit, lies, human weaknesses. Help me save Persia. Give me your powers. That's a no for me, dog. No. Okay, he's going fucking Super Saiyan. I am time and space. Are you sure? I am creation. And I will create a new perfect empire. Baron! Baron, no! You should have joined me instead, Saga. Dude, the people that make these fucking cutscenes, they know what the fuck they are doing. <laughs> they use such gorgeous fucking, like, explosions and attacks and parries, deflections. Like, always absolute fucking stunning cutscenes. Thorin destroyed everything. Wait, what? Mount Kav. Persepolis. There's nothing left. No immortals. No one. <laughs> you should have joined me immediately I destroys everything. Remains. The fuck? Thrice I have seen the universe reborn, rising from the void, carrying fragments of future suns. Oh my god, here it is. This is the thing we've seen every time we've got a feather. Light cannot be born without darkness. Mighty Simorg, you were the one gifting me life time and time again. Why did you choose me rather than the others? Which others? They exist only in your eyes. I only see one man before me. I'm not sure I understand. These are your doubts. That one, your anger. They are always with me. I can't defeat them. Why defeat them? This one is your strength, another your wisdom. All are your allies. All are fragments of a future son. A future son? He who accepts the universe becomes the universe. Be the universe. What if it's too late? I don't exist anymore. I couldn't stop Varen. The wise man does not need an enemy to prove his strength. Are we about to go sicko mode? Varen is not my enemy. I can still save him. Follow your path, Sargon. Oh, shit.
The Crossroads of Time. Oh boy, map unavailable, okay. I mean, first things first. Any grapple point? <laughs> Computer says no. Wait, we didn't lose any health for that? Huh. You don't lose any health if you fall off here. Interesting. Man, that is just gorgeous. Like that fucking whatever the fuck that floating thing is in the background. The void. So pretty. Hello. World's hardest platforming challenge complete. Dude, this is epic as fuck. <laughs> what the? This is so cool, man. Dude, I said it was so cool before it got insane. Holy fuck. Oh my fucking god, he looks sick. Be the first to witness the birth of a new world, Sargon. Bro's mouth wasn't even moving. Varum, time, and space. Bro was just implanting the words Bro, in our mind. You are mistaken. Oh my the god, this is gonna go in insane. Cannot exist. What that? I those wings, am man. And only the creator. Oh, it's beautiful. The world is not up for debate. It manifests itself for all. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Oh, no. This is going to be so hard, isn't it? This is going to be so hard. Hello, buddy. Well, that's a good start. What are you doing? Right. Incredibly hard to dodge fucking attacks. Good. Witness my Oh mistake. my god! What? How was I supposed to dodge that? What is this now? What? I'm so confused about what you're supposed to do there. Right. What the fuck was I supposed to do? I genuinely have no idea. Truly and completely not a fucking clue. Bro's got such a tiny health bar to begin with, but like, obviously... Obviously, that's not real. Obviously not it. <laughs> Bro just rewound time. You cannot defeat a god, Saga. Bro rewound time to give himself full health. Either. Well, that certainly is. That certainly is a fucking series of attacks. Oh my fucking Christ. What? 
Oh my fuck, okay. What the fucking shit, man? No, he dodged. You fucking piece of shit. I think you're supposed to dodge that with one of those things, but... Well, there's number two. I'm guessing it's probably a three-part thing, so I'm out of... I'm out of heals, so obviously we're not going to beat it on our first attempt, but I wouldn't expect to. You are resisting the inevitable. No, this is my path. No way. This is the only way. He splits into fucking two. Oh my god. That is utterly insane. This is my sacred duty. Well, <laughs> guess I'll die. It's a good thing I did put on the uh, the amulet that gives you more mid-air damage because I, I, I am definitely using that. I'm using that a lot. What? I feel like I dodged that. I feel like if we are being totally fair... I did in fact dodge that. How are you so I, I do not understand. Oh, you can just knock him out of it. I don't understand how you're, what you're supposed to do there completely. But I guess just attack him and take the hit. You cannot defeat a god, Sargon. I can't join you either. Here we go again. These utterly ridiculous fucking... Oh, of course he dodges as I fucking get my shot off. I hate everything, dude. That's so unfair. Oh, I don't believe it, man. How fucking fast can you possibly act? That's some fucking horse shit. That is some fucking horse shit, dude. Well, no way of avoiding that. Forgot that he does a second one in this phase. Oh, god damn it. How are you supposed to deal enough damage? Okay, well we got to phase three with two heals left, so that's a bit better. What if there's more than three phases? <laughs> you are resisting the inevitable. 
What if there is more no, than three? I can't believe he part. splits into two. That is, is insanity. That is insanity that he splits into two. Luck be on my side. This is my sacred duty. I am equal to God. Bro. Fucking take a chill pill, mate. Ow. Oh, not this again. Die. Holy shit. Die. Okay, please tell me third time's the charm. I have a horrible feeling that that is not it. <laughs> I have a horrible feeling. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. There's more. You will give me what's mine. That's insane. Wait, this is just a cutscene? Maybe we are done? Wow. It's over. No, there's more. God damn it. Oh man, this is so hard. I need to get to phase four with heals. Wait, what? Maybe not. Are we go are we about to go sicko mode? Oh, we got full health as well. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, you can dodge all his fucking... I can dodge his attacks and shit like that? What? Bro, get absolutely fucking annihilated, mate. Oh, this is broken. This is broken as fuck. Holy shit, did we just win? Did we just win on our second attempt? Fucking die, mate. Learn to say, I will escape. A true warrior needs no weapon. It's your actions that matter. Then I wish to be where we mortals are friends again. God damn. Those impact frames, dude, those hit hard. What an incredible fucking... Oh my god, I can't believe we beat it on our second try. That was one of the easier bosses in the game. <laughs> Which is a bit weird for the final boss, but you know what? I ain't gonna complain. You... You were right, Sargon. <laughs> the Smorg's powers were never ours. It is the end. Oh, may you bring the seeds of hope.
to all in Persia. Dude, that was sick. Oh my god, they just fucking nail these cutscenes. Over and over again, they just fucking body the cutscenes. Holy fuck, man. That was amazing. Man, I'm so glad that fight was like a it was a tough fight, but also not too tough. It wasn't it wasn't a fight that pissed me off, <laughs> you know? I love being able to finish a game happy. Here and not pissed Hassan. off <laughs> the by, a, have succeeded. by a nasty ass final boss. You know? Are we going to say anything about the fact that this queen is like. We, we know she's an absolute bitch now? I guess is he. History will remember you. May our paths cross again. Why do you take off his prince thing? Is he saying fuck you, mum? Um, your Majesty. Not anymore. Sir. Damn. You brought back the Simorg. He is saying fuck a you, triumph man. worthy of a king. I need no praise. My blades served the crown. But in Mount Karf, they were bloodied with the truth. Orod, Menelaus, Rajin, Anahita. Why Bora, did Thamiris tell Anahita to take Hassan to Mount Kaf in the first place? We never found out the reason to pay for the inciting incident. Unless I'm forgetting something, right? Thirty years ago, King Darius was murdered. Yeah. I'll let you confess that story. Is how gone? Look at her coins. There's something she's not telling us. Because we know that Anahita was working on under Queen Thamiris's orders to s kidnap Hassan and take him to Mount Karth, but we don't actually know the reason for it. Because it's not like they were working with Varum to kill the prince or something. The prince was intended to be there for a reason, but I don't know what it was. Did she think if she just took the prince there, then the Samurg would bless him or something? But she must have known that wouldn't happen because she knows she's an illegitimate ruler. Hello, it's our little parrot. Wanna tell me where another treasure is, mate? Wait, what? Our little fucking parrot is the old dude? What? But the our parrot was on screen at the same time as the old dude. Is this a random bird? What? Is that saying the old man was a Simurg or something? Huh. 
Okay. Couple of unanswered questions then. But overall, very good. We Man. Some ups and downs for sure. There were definitely parts of this game that pissed me off a bit. And uh, I'm sure the impossible climb would have done that if I had actually uh, gone for it. But I'm glad that I did not. I feel like this was a, a good point to end it off, you know. I am very happy. I am very pleased with the outcome of, uh, of this game. The story got a bit more involved the further in we got. It was, it was very basic at the start. And then as we got deeper, it did start to actually grab me more. At the start of the game, I was like not at all interested in what the story was really because it just seemed so barely there just like an excuse for us to have a metroidvania but then it really did start grabbing me later on and in the final sections it was just going insane the artists all deserve fucking applause and medals for their work some truly gorgeous areas the, the raging sea especially loved that and all of the cutscenes all of the cutscenes were just absolute fire they, I feel like they took some strong cues from anime fights and stuff because it, it really reminded me of anime fight scenes and they were all absolutely peak. <laughs> I love me some anime fight scenes and uh, yeah, they were so satisfying to watch. Some really cool ideas, especially with that final boss where you <laughs> where you kill him because all the other bosses had three phases but they happened as you took down the health bar to specific points but the final boss had three phases where you killed him and he just reversed time to make himself alive again which is it's the cool concept and then the fourth and final phase where you're like really sick i'm glad i realized that i could just like perma dodge everything because uh if i'd have died in that fourth phase that would have been a real hooper but uh yes it it was all good thankfully um i definitely don't think the platforming feels as good as it could i got more used to it later on in the game but it never felt as smooth as I'd like it to. There was just something about it that always felt a little bit off, a little bit off, whether it was like the lack of coyote time when you run off the edge of a platform and normally devs give you coyote time where you get a couple of split seconds to jump even though you're technically off the ground, but it felt like this game didn't have that. And a few other things, like some of the button positioning, the dimension change thing, I thought it was going to be a bigger deal than it was. The dimension change being on R3, it was incredibly awkward to use. Like, that is just... It really sucked to use the dimension shift in the middle of a traversal sequence because of how you had to move your thumb to the stick. However, however, it also didn't really matter because they barely used the dimension shift, I feel. I feel like it was hardly ever really integrated into the game for some reason. There was a couple of places where you had to use it, but like for the most part, the dimension shift just did not exist as a mechanic, really, which is a bit strange. So stuff like that, that could have been integrated in a little better, but it would have had to have had, to have had a better place on the controller if you're going to make it more of a uh, common thing. Um, but yeah, some really, really fun fights. Some annoying ones, but some really good ones. Uh, Fuck Menelias. All my homies hate Menelias. Awful fight. So yeah, a couple of leftover questions though. Like, yeah, why did Hassan, why did she get... Because if it had just been to take him to see the Simurg, then she wouldn't have had to have Anahita fake a kidnapping for that. Like, she could just go, like, just order a bunch of people to go with Hassan to see the Simurg. So, like, it was very cloak and dagger. It was very weird that she ordered a kidnapping. But there doesn't... There's no explanation for why. That's going to bug me, I feel. Also, what happened to that one immortal? Uh, I saw them in the cutscene at the end. It was like they weren't in full armor, but the, what I was specifically thinking of was the helmet, like, face mask thing, the big iron mask. I'm pretty sure we just never saw them again. They didn't die. We didn't have a boss fight with them, but they just never appeared again. So I wonder what happened with that dude. Uh, so, yeah, there's a few things like that. But overall, overall, I would say this was a very enjoyable game. Overall, despite my uh, despite my mishaps along the way, <laughs> despite my annoyances here and there, with some uh, puzzle not puzzles, I like the puzzles. The puzzles were good. With some um, aside from the one that wanted you to bring a fucking enemy from the other side of the map. Uh, what was I trying to say? Platforming, platforming and bosses. Aside from a few irritated parts with platforming and bosses, I do overall think this was a very good game. I'd probably give it an eight out of ten. I might even be convinced to stretch to a nine. Honestly, the highs 
The high points were so high that I think they more than counteract the negative points overall. You know? I do think they kind of nailed quite a lot of it. And I did overall look forward to playing it again. And I each time I sat down to record, it was like, yay, nice. I get to record Prince of Persia. And uh, yeah, I feel like when it comes to the end of the year, I feel like this is probably going to be on my list of top 10 games of the year. Which is a very, uh, very good thing to start the year off with. I, uh, I've enjoyed it quite a lot. Man, these, uh, these credits still do be going, huh? I was trying to waffle my way through the credits and, uh, reach the end of them. But, uh, it looks like that's not gonna happen. <laughs> usually I can, usually I can waffle through the credits pretty well and, uh, see if there's anything more after. But not this time. So I guess... What we will have to do is uh, a cheeky little cut. And I will see you at the end of the credits to see if there's anything more there. So, uh, yeah, BRB. Wait, never mind, I can skip them. <laughs> Yoink. There is more. There is more. Hey, Sargon. Yo. Don't worry. Wait, did we? I'll take good care of Varum. We brought the kid back from Mount Calf. Okay, I didn't realize that. Was he in the previous cutscene? He wasn't, right? <laughs> I didn't realize that, like, because he wasn't with us when we arrived. He was like a product of Mount Calf, so I wasn't expecting that to be a possibility to bring him back. Many thanks for playing. You can load your save file to continue your exploration of Mount Calf and complete unresolved mysteries. I am good, thanks. I am satisfied with my progress. We did we did most things in the game. What's our final uh What's our final percentage? 86.84%. That is pretty fucking good if I do say so myself. I am very happy with that. We uh obviously missed out on a little bit. A little bit of uh percentage but yeah, that's that's pretty great, I think. So uh yes, that is where we're going to leave it on that gorgeous title screen with the bird rearing its head over the cliffs in the background, the Simurgh. And uh, yeah, we will leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you somewhere else for something new. Thanks for watching. See you then.